hello there. My name is Michael Blue, and for those of you who follow me here on Trojans360, you probably have noticed that I have not been posting as many videos recently. Well, there is a reason for that. You see, my computer, the device that I use to do most of my work, broke. However, it has now been fixed, and I am back and better than ever. And in addition to my usual videos, I am actually going to also start posting some of these video blogs in which I'm just going to talk to the camera and share my insights with the world. And for my first video blog uh, installment, I would like to share with you seven tips I learned about how to go about fixing your computer. <coughs> Tip number one. This is water. Water actually covers most of the Earth's surface. Water is essential for life, and without water, human beings would not be able to survive. However, while when you're sick, hydration may help you start to feel better, when your computer's not working, pouring water on it actually makes the situation worse. So don't pour water on your computer. Now, this may seem like obvious advice, but apparently it's not to some people. Luke. Piece of advice number two. Now this isn't so much a way to fix your computer so much as it is a tip for if your computer ever does get broken and can't be fixed. Back your files up periodically. It's a bit of a hassle but honestly it doesn't take more than a couple minutes to do. Um, if you have very big files you can do it over the course of a night while you sleep and I promise you if your hard drive's ever not working knowing you have all that stuff saved on an external hard drive is just gonna make you feel a lot better. Tip number three. If something seems to be wrong with your computer, go ahead and Google the problem and try to figure it out that way. I know from my recent experiences that some of the advice on the internet is either confusing or just straight up wrong. If you can use Google to figure out exactly what the problem is or find a simple way to try to fix it, that's great. Um, but if you're not really technology savvy, then I wouldn't recommend actually trying to do any of the complicated techniques that uh, some of the people on the internet recommend. Number four. When something's wrong with your computer, a lot of people will tell you that the USC bookstore um, has the means to help you. And this isn't entirely true. What they actually do at the bookstore is take your computer and ship it off to people who can help you and can diagnose the problem. Um, this may be helpful if you don't have the means to take to drive your computer or send it out yourself. However, if you do have these means, if you do have a friend who has a car who would be willing to let you borrow it or take it to a computer store, or even if you're willing to Uber, that's a much quicker method, as the bookstore often takes a few days uh, before you'll even know what's wrong with your computer. Tip number five. I recommend calling the company that made your computer. Uh, a lot of the problems that you'll be having may be common problems that they can teach you how to fix over the phone. Just because you don't understand how to fix the problem when you Google it doesn't mean that when someone's walking you through the steps it won't be much clearer. As a bonus tip, let's call this uh, tip 5 subsection B, you can also accomplish things while you'll be on hold. No doubt when you call tech support they'll put you on hold for a while, so be prepared to have some homework out in front of you or maybe do the dishes. Don't just sit there while you're on hold because that can be aggravating. Tip number 6. If you do have to take your computer in for repairs, bring with you some sort of external hard drive or a friend's computer that you can transfer files onto there. It's not a guarantee you're going to need it, but if you do need it, you don't want to have to take multiple trips to the store. And that ties us in with our next tip, which is tip number seven. Tip number seven. If you do have to take your computer in to be looked at by some sort of professional, bring a friend with you and make a day out of it. The fact of the matter is, this is the trip you don't want to take, and honestly, most of the problems they'll be able to fix with a few hours, and then you're just stuck waiting around. If you tell a friend, hey, let's go get dinner and a movie, um, and just before we go, I have to drop my computer off, and just afterwards I have to pick it up, that's a fun night out on the town. So, you're welcome. And that concludes my seven tips about how to fix your computer. Now, it's great to be back here on Twitter 360, and I hope to be seeing a lot of you soon, and until then, as always, fight on.